Hey, what's going on, y'all? So, here's a little update on the eel. So, last night, we heard a sound. Um, came out to the tank, looked for the eel. Didn't see him, but didn't think much of it. And um, so, as the morning progressed, we still didn't see the eel. So, that caused me to do a very thorough look for the eel. And um, I couldn't find him anywhere in this tank. So, the... Yeah, the noise that we heard last night must have been the eel pushing up some of this plastic because he fell in the back of the tank and died. So uh, I guess I could give you guys a look at the eel. And, um, and just so you guys will know, I have two other eels in here, never had an issue with them. Um, they swim around, they never try to get out, never had an issue at all. But this new guy, he uh, he made his way out, and uh, and of course he uh, he passed away. So I'm really bummed by that. It's not really much I could do about it now. I wish I would have did a thorough look for it last night, but um, things happen. And uh, just want to update you guys. So. The video was supposed to be a real fun video. I was so excited. I was excited to share the new eel with you guys, the feeding videos that was gonna that was gonna come. But um, it just turned out to be a total uh, total bummy video. So just want to update you guys. Didn't want to hide it from you, and uh, and let you guys know even when you have this plastic blocking it and Neil can still find his way out so I'm going to go and buy this test a lot of eel even though <laughs> even though I just lost this other one I was going to buy it anyway but anyway so I'm going to go buy a test a lot of eel once I get to the pet store and uh, get them back same process I'll show it to you but anyway that's the that's the latest update just feeling real crappy about it I was so excited about this about this eel, but um, I guess things like this happen, unfortunately. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Have a good one. Just came back from this pet store. All about fish. I got this, uh, this Tessalata eel. Looks like it's about seven inches. Maybe a little bit bigger than that. And then I also have this blue chin trigger. It's about four inches. I'm hoping that my uh, my grouper don't give him a hard time. If so, the grouper is going back to the store because he's already been doing too much damage, killing my fish. And um, I'm tired of having uh, the, such a aggressive fish inside of that tank doing that kind of stuff because nobody else do that. So I'm gonna get these guys acclimated and then um, we'll, we'll put them into the tank. Matter of fact, matter of fact, I'll show you exactly how I do this. So this is the test lot of eel. So I wanna get them temperature acclimated I'm also going to uh, basically take out some water and then I will add water to this bag until it doubles in volume. And then I'll add them in. And then here's a closer look at this guy. Can't really see him, but um, probably get see him once he goes in there. There you go. So that's a blue blue chin trigger. And then we got the, of course, the test a lot of eel. I purchased some PVC so he could go ahead and, uh, and hide in there just in case he can't make his way around the rocks down there because we got the, the snowflake eel as well as the zebra eel that's made those rocks down near their homes. So we'll see how that work out. So like I said, and get these guys acclimated and get these guys into the tank.
There's a PVC that I bought to put in there so you can hide in it. I am gonna seal this top up extra tight, making sure that he cannot get out. Look at Hollywood. That's I'm hungry. That's his little I'm hungry dance. His feed me. Get them teeth. Look at that. Feed me, Cleveland, feed me. So all I'm doing is just pouring a little water in every now and then. Add a little bit more. So I will pick up this camera again when they are ready to go in. Time to get the trigger in there. There you go. One in. be a problem. I'm about to record it. He he got him. Uh the the eel. He went. I swear to you, I don't know if it's on camera yet. But yes, he got him. He is not playing with him. So I had to get our core grouper out of there because he was just attacking the eel as well as the new trigger fish. Like I thought he might, but I was hoping that he wouldn't. So I had to remove all the rock to get him out. And so now that I have everything removed, 
I'm going to do some rescaping so all the eels will have their own hiding spots. Right now, got water spots all over the glass, obviously. But um, as you can see, all three of them are hiding behind or hiding under and within this one rock. So I'm going to do like I said and uh, rescape this tank, do a little clean on it. I'm not going to do too much of a clean just based on the fact that I have some new fish in there and I don't want to change the parameters too much. So I'm going to do what I can and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Everything is complete. Got the uh, coral grouper into a 20 gallon tank temporarily until we figure out what we're gonna do with him. Hopefully his aggression calmed down and we could re-add him back into this tank, but we'll decide that at a later date. Other than that, we got the new scape in here. We got the blue chin trigger right here, love and life. We have all three eels right here. I take that back. We have two eels right here. We have the snowflake right there. But oh, we also added in the panther grouper that we had bought the other day. So everybody seems to be doing good. Obviously, I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys updated. Hollywood is still as hungry as ever since he didn't get to eat. He just got a whole little um, remodel going on. But anyway... Just wanted to give you guys an update, let you see what's going on. This was continuing from us picking up the new fish and also the new eel. So I'll give you a close up of the grouper. Amazing colors. He's real skittish. So I'm hoping that while he's in here, he'll get a little bit more um, bold and accustomed to us so uh he don't act the way that he does which is very very skittish and um he's, he's always avoiding us so when i'm feeding him he'll come in uh first he'll hide and then he'll snatch the food and go right back to hiding so i've had him for about nine months ten months and um his his behavior hasn't changed one bit he was like that in the pet store but I thought once we got him home and he got used to us, that things would change. But as he's getting bigger, his personality is staying consistent. So hopefully that changes. And uh, hopefully he he, uh, he knows how to behave so we can throw him back into 150. All right. That's all I have. 